Touch with Fire explores uh, these two characters who are both um, dealing with their uh, bipolar illness and they fall in love and they find this connection that is very deep and they, they um, find a partner in life, if you will, like they've both been so lonely dealing with this suffering on their own. And um, it explores also this idea of, you know, madness fueling genius um, and dealing with this, this illness. How was that? Great. <laughs> I think it's about, you know, two people um, in love with the idea of just saying yes to all, all things. Uh, I think they're incredibly inspired. Um, uh, the challenge for them is that, you know, uh, riding on the wave of yes uh, meets lows also. And, and so they're kind of tr trying to f find balance with that. Unfortunately, an aspect of their love kind of encourages uh, aspects to bipolar that um, will inevitably lead them to uh, deeper lows. Um, so it's sort of touching on that, it's kind of sh shedding a light on, on uh, this experience um, and yeah, reminding us of how tricky love can be. I was really um, moved by the script, moved by the honesty uh, that was on the page. I, uh, when I met with Paul and I learned about uh, the fact that it was based on his life and everything that he had gone through and how he was able to over, you know, overcome his different feelings about this uh, illness and have patience in finding the right medication for himself and then to take his experience and, and turn it into something that is beautiful. He's a very talented filmmaker, but also something that can hopefully touch people who have dealt with this, broaden people's understanding who have not. And um, I think that it, it was really, you know, that the bravery that, that comes with that, it was really inspiring to be a part of that. I was very struck by the rawness of it when I read the script. Um, it felt like whoever uh, had conjured it um, was seeking to find a voice. Uh, and when I met Paul, it, that voice became very palpable. And um, then it was a matter of determining how we were going to, uh, you know, get into the ring. and. Um, you know, and find our rhythm, and I, you know, it was just a baptism by fire, trial and error. For me, this character <clears throat> was very challenging. There were a lot of different dynamics to her. At the core, she's, you know, uh, like me and you, and she has a love of poetry. She grew up in a very normal household. Um, and then at a certain point, this took over her life. And uh, as an actor approaching this, it was just, you know, really doing a lot of research, practicing, uh, getting the physicality into my body, and then being willing to play and explore and trust Luke and his perf beautiful performance and our director and um, just find it continue to explore it every day. I think it was really just about um, <clears throat> figuring out a way uh, to feel comfortable that whatever you were doing had purchase and authenticity. And, and it was just a matter of sort of recognizing that Paul was able to function as a barometer for that. And once I saw that that was uh, there, you know, then we were sort of f free to explore. and. Uh, Katie brought so much curiosity and determination 
to the work that she was doing is so available that um, you know things become uh, m much more reliable when, when that's the case. So you know, then it was just playtime. I was um, not that familiar with uh, bipolar, and uh, I learned a great deal in preparing, but also from Paul. And then I learned, you know, when we were working on this, so many people on the crew and, you know, uh, the cast had uh, either, you know, direct experiences or indirect experiences with it. And, and that just fueled more inspiration to do better, you know, to just keep working and, and finding that authenticity and, and keep supporting each other. There was a great deal of support on this film. Um, you know, we were we all became a very strong unit, a, a really big team, and, it, and that was, it made for a really wonderful experience. I mean, it was very intense, but it was also really fun to come to work because I, I mean, I made so many friendships and we really took care of each other, all the departments. It was a wonderful experience working with Paul. Um, I thought he did a really great job and he was available to answer our questions and and collaborate and we, you know, we had the freedom to give our opinions and sometimes they didn't agree with his and we, we got through it because this, this was a, um, it was a hard job and so there was a lot, a lot of, oh. We wrestled it out. I don't know. I know that what I've sort of taken taken from it lately has been, I know that in, in the doing of it, <clears throat> one of the big challenges was just trying to understand something that from one point of view is so mystifying uh, and trying to um, give that meaning was a challenge. And, and, and But n now that we're out of it, and seeing it from an outside eye, I, I'm, I've really seen um, how much people relate to it uh, personally or because they have, you know, people that are close to them who are going through similar things. And I, I, that's just been very encouraging. And, and hearing, um, hearing a dialogue around that has been really nice because there's, you know, that we don't have that language and we're sort of figuring it out as we go along.